Hello everybody, Eamon and Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Kingdom of Greece. In the last episode, we started our work in moving forces over here towards the... Uh, to South America in an attempt to try to find a way to open up a second front on the Americans to try to break the stalemate that we are currently in. Um, and my thought was to come down here and launch an amphibious invasion into like Florida or somewhere else to try to open that front up. But the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm not sure that is going to work. Um, for one thing, the Americans have brought a very large fleet down into the Caribbean. And that is going to put any amphibious uh, invasion that I'm going to try to operate in extreme jeopardy. Um, because if they encounter our transports, our transports are toast. And I don't want to lose 19 marine divisions in the water. So I'm thinking we're going to be trying a different plan. It's going to be slower. Um, it's going to be more complicated, but I think it has a greater chance of success. At least I'm hoping it is. And that is, I'm going to try and uh, basically take a page from my Hearts of Iron 3 Turkey campaign. And instead of launching this invasion here, is um, just push my way north along the uh, along Central America and take out all these guys and push through Mexico and try to open up the southern border of the United States as a front. And it's going to take some time, some effort, um, and I'm not sure, and I'm hoping I'm going to have the troops to do it. I mean, Colombia is probably going to be the biggest hurdle until we get to Mexico. And the one issue is that um, all of these countries, when we declare war on them, are going to join the Allies. So their territory is going to go into the peace conference pool. But if I look at the current war and look at participation, I am currently at 77%, which means that um, we will have a commanding... Uh, presence, basically being able to control the peace conference um, as long as that holds. Alright, so what I actually did is made a small, couple small adjustments is I have decided to bring these guys in here rather than pushing them through the Caribbean and trying to bring them into these ports. Then we're going to move them over land uh, here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to get rid of that. Because we're not going to do that. I just don't think it's going to work. Now the other thing I need to do is I need my paratroopers. I'm going to bring them over here. And... The other thing I'm going to do, even though it's... Going to be a bit iffy. Is I'm going to push all these units out. Uh, before the training is complete. Because they're going to be fighting in South America, so... Hopefully they'll be able to get their training in the field. Alright, so you guys and you guys are going to form up a new army. Create a new commander. And we're going to give you... What haven't we used yet? We're gonna give you green. Alright, everybody move to a port. Move there. These ten infantry divisions. We'll set them up as a new army as well. I'm gonna give them to the field marshal. And I'm gonna make you... white, I guess. And we're also gonna move you to a port. I guess we'll just bring it to Athens. There we go. Okay, so we will get moving on that. Now, some of you may be wondering, as I had mentioned before, that I was very ill 
uh, last episode. I am feeling a lot better now and uh, should be able to do full episodes for the, time, for the foreseeable future now. And hopefully I don't have to go through that again. That was just terrible. Alright, I lost another sub. I'm gonna need to start pulling those subs out. Alright, so you guys. Let's get you transitioning over here. Apparently I don't have enough convoys. Um, am I doing the same thing for trade and sub 641? Am I trading anything at all? It's from Vichy, France. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait for somebody to land and free up their transports. There's my some of my main fleet. Oh, I managed to sink two of their destroyers, the Allen and the Alwyn. Yeah, if we can do hit and run like that, let's pop off a couple of ships, get out of there without too much damage. That would be good. Let me see, one thing I want to see. First Fleet... Uh, what are they said to? They said to never repair? I don't think we want to do that. Um, let's set their home port in... Why can I not set their home port here? Control, right click. Do I have to take them off? What? Uh, it's not like we don't have uh, transit rights, military access, I should say. Oh, also we've got some enemy units here. All right, let's bring my marines over here. Uh, can you actually, like, strategic redeploy? You guys. Uh, set yourselves up on a border over here. Free civilian factories. Let's get some more naval dockyards being built. So I don't want these guys going all the way back to Kuwait to repair. Huh. There we go. Now well, let me do it. That's weird. Repair priority medium, and let's say yeah, we'll do the automatic split off because it's going to be pretty much in the same C zone, so that should be all right.
I'm only using 40? If I say... From Vichy France... Zero this out. Nope, that didn't affect anything. Where are all my transports being used? Seventy three are being used there. Lost another couple of subs. I really need to. How's my how's my sub fleet actually looking? Oh, you guys need to get out there patrolling. We're down to fourteen subs. Marines. Concentrated Industry 5. Very good. And let's take a uh, streamlined line. Managed to sink another destroyer. Very good. Yes, I think the easiest way to do this might be to say, I want you guys to take up a front. Will that work? Probably not. What are you doing? Okay. I don't understand why we're using 659 out of 227 transports. That just seems weird to me. Oh, I have to take out another destroyer. This is Humphreys. All right, you guys go. Actually, let's give these guys full orders to push all the way to there. Hold on. Can I say change your plan of attack to go all the way there? Yep, there we go. I lost a sub. Down to 13 subs. Down to 12 subs. I think one of the problems is my production here is yeah light cruiser four. Let's back that off. Put all these in the subs. And then we 
we will do... Well, we'll just let those free up. Uh, lost some convoy, so well, that's no big deal. So you guys, once you've landed, there we go. Now go ahead and get out on this front. Uh, how long will it take us to justify a war goal? 25 days. Okay, that's not long at all. This is the Spanish fleet? Yep, that is the Spanish Navy engaging the Americans. That's not going to go well for the Spaniards. Not going to go well at all. Yep. They're turning tail. Oop, we need some more construction going. Uh, let's say we want some more naval dockyards. Oh, we freed up a lot of space because we got that concentrated industry. Very nice. Okay, so let's just start filling this in again. Eight, nine. Oh, we've actually got some available convoys. These guys are still driving through the desert. So were those guys. Uh, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, we've already got all of that taken care of. Maybe we should work on this. Yeah, let's work on that. 150 days until we get our nuclear reactors. Unfulfilled import requests. Alright, good. We are getting some surplus convoys. So hopefully once these guys reach the port over here, they will hop over. Okay, so, those guys are still walking. I don't know why they're walking. Can you redeploy? They need to reorganize, it looks like. And is... Okay, that's... Uh, ten. Alright, so light cruiser three completed, so let's put those there. All into light cruiser fours. Get them building. So far, we have not lost... Any primary surface ships. We managed to knock off a few American destroyers and we keep their fleet busy. So I say that's a win for now. Uh, 
Is their aura going up at all? A little bit, very slowly. Ooh. Well, Spaniards made an accounting of themselves there. They sunk five destroyers. The USS Thornton, the USS Ballard, the USS Crosby, the USS Shelley, the USS Kennison. They sunk the USS Salt Lake City. Trenton. They lost five destroyers, one heavy cruiser, and four light cruisers. And they're about to lose a battleship. But hey. At least he managed to do something. Uh, let's start working on the mechanized. Ace pilot promoted. These are all Irish. And Mexican. Oh, they are suffering attrition. That's what the problem is. Um, hmm. Because we don't have supply over here and we don't control any of this territory. So. We have no way of improving that situation. Now, I can't really abandon that because then those guys will flood in here, so that's not good. Ooh. We managed to sink another destroyer, USS Holbert. And let's see, some more dockyards for our submarines three and a half per month. We're down to four subs? Really? Oh, we lost 11 submarines. Ouch. Well, that's no good. Uh, you guys head back. Head back to port. Uh, we're making three and a half a month, so we'll get those numbers replenished. So far, the air war here is going well. We lost another sub as they head back. They're being chased. They might not survive getting back to port. They made it back to port. Ooh, that, that was not good. We're shooting down bombers. We're losing fighters. So I think we need to boost our fighter production. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reduce close air supports and naval bombers. I'm also going to reduce light tanks a little bit. Look at those fighters built. Ooh, I managed to shoot down 16... Uh, 30 planes. And we sunk the USS St. Louis.
Well, now our service fleet is starting to see some engagements. So we don't have our submarines to pick on anymore. Is this even an option? If I told them to attack... Low supply, naval penalty. Yeah, it's not going to work. They can't advance from there either. Ah, here comes the rest of the, f the army. So let's go ahead and start this justification. Oh, submarine innovations. Uh, we need to pay attention up here. No movement on this line. So that's good. So I'm afraid that they're just going to launch an all-out offensive and cause me some significant trouble. Go Submarine Doctrine. Fill out the subs. And... Losing a lot of equipment due to attrition. They don't have a ton of supply there either. Looks like we need some more military factories. Which we're going to build them out here. Fill that in. I'm filling the light cruisers. We are draining fighters. Are we replenishing them faster than we're losing them? Just barely. What do we got going on here? Come on, sink them. U.S. is Atlanta. It says Cassin. Received one critical hit. Maybe one of the destroyers got a torpedo in on it. Why are there only eight of my ships here? Inconclusive, no results. Uh, let's see. Continue working on that uh, mechanized. Now, one thing I was thinking about doing is um, boosting party popularity for non aligned in the United States. And then doing a coup. The problem with that is that the um, the re the rebellion part of the United States that breaks away will join the Axis, and I'm not necessarily sure I want to do that because I want the United States as my territory after we conquer them. So. And the other issue here is that the Germans and the Canadians 
And he slowly pushed back. And if they lose the flank over here, that could be serious trouble for my guys. Alright, so my guys here have landed. And they're moving to their positions. I need to set up some battle plans. Battle plans. Just a general assault. Don't need any expeditionary forces from Italy. Nope, nobody's come back for repairs yet. We are way overstretching the supplies in this region. I'm hoping my guys are going to have enough strength to actually be able to make this offensive work. Because these guys can barely recover any organization at all. Oh, we finished our justification. Let's give this a whirl, shall we? Let's fill in the last little bit of motorized there. Let's fill in this. Let's declare the war. Call the allies. You guys launch, you guys launch, you guys launch. Yep, they join the allies. Low supply terrain. Oh, made a little bit of headway. So we took a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff there. And actually, we are getting uh, toward the end of this episode here. So let me just fill out the civilian factories that need some work to do. Alright, so we're going to do this, we're going to do that. That should do it. And then we'll end this episode here and we'll see how this war against Colombia goes. And I'm hoping that this flank will hold, but it doesn't look good. I'm just... I really need the Germans to hold that flank. Alright, well, we'll see how it goes when we come back next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.